All right, guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to tweak your SIM for your specific PC hardware. This tutorial works for any hardware. I'm currently on the runway at Heathrow with live traffic, live weather, and live players. My system is a 7950X3D with a 4090, 64 gigs of RAM on a 4 terabyte NVMe SSD. We're going to be using this performance metrics here. You display these by going into your advanced options and turning on developer mode built into Microsoft Flight Simulator. That gives you this menu up here at the top. You use the debug menu to display frames per second. That shows you the metrics. Shows you your overall frames per second at the top. Gives you your, um, your resolutions, the render resolution, the delivered resolution. It tells you your bottleneck limited by main thread. That's my CPU. You can see the frame time coming from my CPU. It looks like it's bouncing against 28 or 27 or so. Lower is better, since it's a frame time. Uh, you got your GPU frame time here, 15. So uh, lower is better, so that means the GPU is not the bottleneck. It's kind of relaxing. And 36 frames per second. Let's pretend like that's not enough for us, because it's really not enough in 2025. So we go into our settings. As you can see, I've got 4K, TAA, Ultra. But I want higher frames per second, and even at 4K, my CPU is the bottleneck, despite a lot of people's misconceptions about these simulators. So I need to reduce the terrain level of detail and the object's level of detail. I know that these two will load my CPU, so reducing them will alleviate the load on my CPU takes things a second to stabilize but you should see a higher frames per second maximum yep almost 40 now much better especially when you pan left and right makes things much smoother you can see the main thread frame time has dropped it looks like it's bumping up against 25 now when I think it was bumping up against 28 before and the GPU frame time is unchanged because we didn't change any settings that load the GPU so as you can see, it's very simple if you know which settings load the CPU and which settings load the GPU to tweak the simulator for your specific hardware. But we're not finished. Even though I'm happy with my 40 frames per second, I look at my frame times and I can see that the main thread is about 24 milliseconds or so, while the GPU is at 15. So the GPU could be doing more work for free. I could be getting better graphics quality for the same 40 frames per second, and I'll prove that. You can go to the settings. Render scale, I can go above 4K. Let's go up to, I don't know, 135%. Give it some time to stabilize. As you can see, still about 39 frames per second. Render thread is unchanged, around 23 to 25 milliseconds but my GPU frame time it is no longer 15 milliseconds it is now 22 so I've increased the load on my GPU to match my CPU my system is in balance at my acceptable frame rate this is the best I can make this sim look for my specific PC hope this helps